to extra time with Musa Lubusa as well as Mshishi. Gentlemen, you are the champions of the African Football League. Maybe starting with yourself, Musa, your thoughts, and then we can follow by Sam. Yeah, I think uh, we worked very hard as a team, and uh, hard work paid off at the end. So everyone gave maximum effort, and uh, we couldn't thank um, our starters enough because they did the job for us, and uh, we knew that at the back we just have to, we just have to keep it clean, and uh, we'll be champions. <coughs> yeah, no, you oh, sorry. <laughs> no, for for us is special, especially we won it in front of our supporters, and uh, like to give the credit to the team, and the technical team, the players, and all the the support that we get at the cup. I mean, uh, we did well today. Uh, we tried to stick to the plan, and we knew that uh, what they are capable of, and uh, yeah, we did well as a team. Thanks, T. Uh, my question is though to the skipper. Sure. Shiga, you know, I once asked the coach, um, how, how difficult is it for you uh, to always, you, you always seem to integrate the new players, you know. At one point, you had a good combination with Percy, and then Gaston, and then Peter, and then Lucas. So does it, it always seems as if every new player that comes, the moment they perform is because it almost seems as if you, you help the integration become a bit better on the field. Um, how important is that to you as, a, as the captain of this team and as someone who has been here for so many years? Yeah, it's very important to interact to, with everyone in the team. You know, I try my best, especially the, the guys whenever they arrive. I try to, to learn them how they play in the training and try to build that brotherhood because I know for sure that it's going to help us in games. So, yeah, that's what I do. Uh, I mean, you're one of two players who were there in 2016 and you guys won the Champions League. What has been, say, the struggle in terms of emulating that uh, winning the Champions League again? And what do you think this is going to do in terms of trying to add a second star? Yeah, obviously winning this trophy is a boost for us to go for Champions League. Uh, now we know that the, the standard of... Uh, Actually, this cup is the same standard with the Champions League. Obviously, Champions League, we will meet the same teams. So now we know that uh, from now on, we need to step up, step up and try to improve and go forward. <coughs> yeah, it's hard work. It's hard work. It's hard work in the team and try to improve the team each and every season. And uh, yeah. Musa, um, there was talk about you potentially leaving the club, I think, start of the season. Um, you stayed, did you envision this type of success this season for yourself and being such an important part of the team? And earlier we saw Kuliso, like, literally in tears after winning this trophy. Why, why do you think this specific trophy made him so emotional? Because, I mean, obviously you guys are very close as a defensive unit. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, there was talks of me leaving the club, but um, I just, just saw in the media and um, coach, we had one-on-one -on -one talk with the coach and um, he told me that um, he needs me in the team and uh, I had to to make sure that I work hard for the team and any given chance that I get, uh, I work hard for the team. And um, I think it was, it was a bit emotional today because um, we worked so hard to get where we are. I mean, if we check the Champions League last season, we, the same team knocked us out and uh, at the very same stadium in front of our supporters. And we knew that uh, today it's in our hands and we have to work extremely hard to make sure that uh, we make our supporters happy. Sure, Jens. Uh, congratulations uh, to both of you guys. Um, Musa, how has this team matured? Uh, like you say, you guys um, traveling is not easy, uh, you, but you beat uh, three good teams uh, to win this uh, 
a competition. So maybe talk to me about the maturity over the last couple of seasons under Coach Rulani and to Zwani. Uh, when you joined, is it Vados or, or Valdos? Um, and someone said you'd have all this success at Sundowns. So what would you have said at that point? Uh, <laughs> uh, to be honest, uh, that time uh, I was not sure. The only thing I was sure about is uh, uh, try to learn from the first season, try to learn from the big boys because the first season when I came here, there was a lot of big players. You know, you can name them Kila, uh, Tico, Surprise. But I gave myself a time, time to, to learn from them and try to improve as a player. You know, knowing for sure that uh, if I can improve, I can still uh, win trophies for the team. Oh, um, you spoke about the maturity. Yeah, so um, I think um, uh, we we know each other very well. I mean, if you if you look at today, um, throughout the tournament, there's been um different pairing of centre backs, and then today coach comes and then he calls a different pairing and um. We know that uh, even though we haven't played together in a while, so we have to, to do the job, you know. The guys up front, they're depending on us to, to make sure that we keep clean. So I think um, the understanding amongst the group is uh, is very well. And uh, up front, we have the guys like Shiga, Peter, that they know um, what to do, how to finish off games. And um, yeah, I think that's the maturity we have. You know, we've been with each other for so long that we know each other's strengths and weaknesses. Uh, Jens, Vanilla from CBC, congratulations on the 75M first prize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just want to look at the defensive um, record um, in this tournament. Um, Sundowns, I think, has got the best defensive record. Um, only two goals considered, uh, the goals um, that you considered um, in that, that side. Um, what would you say has been behind um, and, and this Musa, and how do you take this forward? Um, because it's, 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 when, when you defend well in this competition, um, it also brings you closer to achieving something as we've seen um, today. And, and, and I know that when you go to North Africa, the incidents like the ones that happened at the end uh, is always what uh, one is looking at. What was going through your mind as you were finishing this game and then there's this incident that also becomes maybe part of um, mentally playing with the opponent? Yeah, um, first of all, it's tough to go into North Africa, you know, but um, our technical team, they really prepped us well this time, you know. Um, we analyzed them to the team, you know, everything about them, their tactics and everything, and um, we played... Um, First 45, we made sure coach emphasized that we need to get a goal because if we don't, second half, there will never be a game. And lucky, lucky enough, we got a goal and it was a whole different game. So now it was in our hands. So we had to to make sure that um, we use their tactics against them. And um, yeah, maybe maybe as a football fan, we say it's not nice, but they do it to us when we go that side. Are we proud of it? Maybe not, we're not. But uh, it worked for us. We are champions today. And your defensive record? Oh, the defensive record. I think um, I think if we talk about the defensive record, there's so many times your runs are kept us in the game. And um, credit must be given to him. And the guys who've been playing throughout until the last game in the final, they've also been doing excellent. The Grand River, they've been doing amazing. And... Um, me and Chops, he came today to, to just finish it off and um, coach, coach told us that we, we need to keep it solid to, to start where they ended and we make sure that we finish off um, our campaign. Yeah, um, and that's from kickoff. Mine might be a little bit personal. Um, you all know that winning a trophy at Sundowns means some things in terms of bonuses. How does it mean for you guys financially in terms of getting to win such big prize of money and in terms of maybe trying to invest in your in your future. Thank you. <laughs> but now we talk about money.
question about it, but um, I think um, as time goes on, we will have a meeting and, uh, and talk about it. But uh, from now on, um, we know the prize money that we won, but uh, as to what we're going to do about it and as to how to how we're going to share it, we don't know. From journalist yeah. side, yes, one thing that was in touch. The issue of salvaging things about money is also safety and all that. Yeah, yeah that's why we sing about Kulum now. Let's move on to the next question. Yeah, Khutatu Mokhali from Hopala Radio. Um, Mshishi, I want to ask and also Musa, ask a question. Mshishi, my first question to you is playing in front of a packed Loftus like stadium, Yellow Nation is there singing, supporting, there behind you. How did that make you feel as you enter the field that knowing that you've got your 13th man, they are here, they are here for you and they want you guys then to like, push on and win like, the trophy. And then Musa, like to you as well then, uh, play. Yeah, no, it always feels good to, to have our supporters come in numbers, you know. Uh, we know that whenever they're there, they always push us. And uh, when they sing, they give us that vibe, you know, to, to push ourselves and try to, to win the game. And uh, seeing them happy today, it makes it makes us also happy, you know. That's what we wanted, the best feeling. Shika, can I ask your opinion on uh, Aubrey's goal? I mean, uh, you know, you... Talk. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, uh, you, you, I don't know if you've seen it again, but we've obviously had the privilege to watch the replays over and over, but you play with him. You've scored a few like that in the past. How much composure does it take? Just what, what do you think of, of, of that kind of a goal, especially from a, maybe someone who's not as attack-minded yeah. as you are, or Peter or, or <coughs> Lucas? No, top goal from Ope. I don't know if I should use this uh, this week. He, he got balls. <laughs> Seras, no, on the Seras note, I mean, it's final. Final, cheaper, cheaper, so. No, no, top goal from Ope, and uh, much respect for him. Um, I don't know who this question is for, but. Um, <laughs> Bragans <laughs> earlier on asked the coach about. Um, you know, you guys stick into your style of play, not compromising on on the principles of how you play. From a player's perspective, um, is, it, is it difficult, is it easy when you go to a final, a big match like this in front of so many people, to not cut corners but stick to what you know best and, 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 and win and, and win beautifully and win well? I do always uh, feel good to, to stick to the plan because of that's what we know. We know that uh, if we, we play our, our football and uh, we, we have uh, good passing lines, we can penetrate any defense that comes to, to Loftus. So that's why we always stick to our plan. And uh, yeah, that's it. Karabo uh, Budishani from Tax FM. Uh, first of all, gentlemen, congratulations on the win. Uh, my question is to Mosa. Um, the last time out against Bidat Casablanca, um, Away goals rule worked against you guys and it worked in their favor. What did you do this time around to rectify that and to turn um, the odds of the away goals rule into your favor? The most important thing we did was to get the goal on the other side. And um, it worked because um, even after the game, they were, they were really not happy for conceding. And then when we came to the side, we knew that we have to win the game at all costs. And um, that's what we did. We got, we got the goals and we made sure that we closed the door. And again, we learned from, from our past because um, they were the ones who knocked us out of Champions League. So it was a, it was a lesson from last season. And now we actually worked on our lesson to make sure that uh, we, we, go, we win the, the trophy. <laughs> okay. Uh, am I taking the last one or are we done? Take the last question. Ah, okay. And maybe both of you guys on the maybe the, the the impact that the fans you know made, but the actual question here, Tumshishi, you've won the Champions League, you've won the Super Cup against Mazembe, you've won the league. You probably even forgot how many times today you've won this cup. Which one would you like to do again and why? 
Evo, ma je nje prem, pa jaz. Ja, obvijesni, vi je kontek do trofis, da je taj vvon. Ja, for me, I want to win a Champions League again. And, obvijesni, win something with national team. I mean, there's Afcon coming, you know. If I can get that one, I will be, I will be happy. I will be happy. From the Yellow Nation? Yes. Champions League again. And win the league again for the seven times in a row, if I'm not. Yeah, that's our culture, Israel. Yeah, I think uh, for me also, the Champions League, because I hear how the guys talk about winning the Champions League, and uh, I have, uh, I also want to experience the feeling. So since I came to this club and uh, the winning culture, and I just want to keep on winning, and uh, the Champions League is a feeling that I never experienced, so I would love to win Champions League. Thank you, thank you for your time. Congratulations. Congratulations.